Hello, Hello guys, welcome, welcome to back. Off, is that our first ever part three? Third part of this is one. Is it the first ever part I'm three? I'm sure we've done part three so in the past. If you've never, if you haven't already seen part one and two of this video, head, head back on the channel and watch that first. But we're about to dive into part three of the 1956 high school exchange students in the USA debate on prejudice, Philippines, Japan, UK, and Indonesia. Long title. Take a breath. <laughs> We watched part one and part two of this already, and yeah. um, it's so interesting. We were it's so cool away to look it. back. And this kid is so smart. This kid is so uh, intellectual. He's so yeah. What's the word where you really put your words across well? Not that. Yeah, <laughs> there's a word for it. Um, anyway, you, a, you'll he's, see. He's a young Filipino guy that speaks like an older speaks like a very wise like, man he's, yeah he's got a lot it's of knowledge cool. on his head and the other three are cool as well and they've all got these different opinions on prejudice and it's yeah, kind of a video of them talking through it and this is such a long time ago it's 1956 yeah. and to hear people speaking about these topics which are still debated today yeah. sadly um whether it's improved or not improved i don't know i guess it has overall improved a little bit yeah. but still these things going on so it's interesting to see people talking about it and they're um, opinioned, I guess, from way back then. So anyway, we're going to jump into part three. Yeah, if you're new around here, please don't forget to hit subscribe to the channel. And if you've got anything you want us to react to, you can send us a message over on our Instagram pages, link below and on the screen now um, with your reaction requests. Yes. So we're going to head in now at 18.05. So it's a nice long video. We've got a few minutes left, about seven minutes left of the video. Um, and we'll watch it with you guys. So ready? I think yes. you need to move this way. Do I need to before. shimmy. Yeah. There you go. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. And I just noticed that well, it was a big dance floor, and all the white kids were assembled on the left yeah. side. And the most, uh, well, shall we say, not strategic part of the ballroom, well, all the colored boys and girls were in there. And I never saw a white boy asking a, wh uh, a colored girl for a dance, nor did I see a colored boy asking a white girl for a dance. I had a nasty experience, too. Um, when I first arrived here, and I told, I happened to mention to a group of young people that I was going to stay with the Negro family, one of the boys got up and walked out of the room and I felt awful. I thought, well, we're in the north now, not in the south. And then when we did go into the south, I really came against it pretty hard. We went into this big store and um, I was in the, the ladies' cloakroom and I was washing my hands and I was with a group of the eastern delegates, the rather darker skinned ones like Ratnati. And uh, I was standing a little apart from them and this lady came up to me and she pulled me to one side, obviously assuming that I was American. And she said, uh, she said what are these Negroes doing in here? And I was so cross and I, very, I told her as calmly as I could that I was with them and who we were and of course her attitude immediately changed but it gives you sort of a nasty shock when you come up, wow. up against it face to face. You read about it's it. It's crazy that the world is like... Yeah, it really is. Realize At least she was like sticking yeah. up for everyone. Thank God there were people who had yeah. this opinion there. Yeah. Skin color and uh, I think uh, the... I don't know why, but uh, I think uh, the white people think that uh, color people has, uh, have dirty skin and uh, they don't have a progressive culture. So, uh, so the white people are the most great, great, great and uh, wonderful person in the world. I think so. On this matter of skin color, if you were here in the summer, you'd see lots of Americans on all the beaches trying to get brown. That's the thing. I, I wonder what that really means. I think we white women have an inferiority complex. The Eastern women and the, the Negro women have a sort of reputation for being so beautiful. I guess we're a little just, jealous of them. I guess you just envy us colored people. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, is there anything corresponding to that? In well, I think so, Mrs. Waller, because in the Philippines, it's just funny. There's a common tendency among women, well, those who have a, 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 a dark complexion, I should say, or just a tanned one, or just a brown complexion, well, especially these uh, high society matrons, well, even if they've got already wrinkles on their face, they still want to bleach their skin. Suppose you meet one right now and you mm. say, oh, good morning. Yeah, There's still like so whitening good. creams and just products here, right? And brown. But after three months, you meet the so same person. So interesting how people often the want what they don't have as well yeah. and, uh, for different cultural reasons and uh, cultured and everything and you just notice that but how well does this guy speak mm. articulate that's it before. that's the word i was looking and, for uh, when you look at uh, at her hands and everything up to her arms well you you'll be likable to say to exclaim holy moses because there's a, a real very great difference you see she's about very light here but you look at 
uh, the arms and everything, and uh, the, the lower part of the body, but gee, it's, it's just a, a very great difference. It's colored here, but it's very light. They really bleach the their skins? They do, Mrs. Waller. They well, what pay. about Japan? Does that, Japanese women don't want to change well, it anyway, do some they? Some Japanese women, um, or, how do you say? Dye? Dye. Dye their hair red. Really? Yes. Uh, they like a red hair. But I don't like it. What about Indonesia? Well, <coughs> as the Western people try to get the um, darkest, darkest skin, we try to get light, lighter skin, but we prefer uh, the it's sun. It's very and interesting. The... But you're such a nice color now. I, oh. don't like... <laughs> I think it's when so we cool. go out, then we use some um, long sleep blouse to, to prevent from the sun, so we don't get a very dark color. Uh, tell me, what are your governments, if anything, doing about problems of prejudice? You've each mentioned some prejudice that exists in your country. Uh, what are your governments doing to try to eradicate it? Such an interesting age group to ask, isn't it? Yeah. Because they're, you the prejudice. They've got they're intelligent, they've got some life experience, but oh, they're still, their thoughts will be fresh yeah. and, and also genuine they're and not shaped really too much. They're a, a younger generation, so well, it's probably more forward-thinking opinions yeah. compared with maybe and previous generations. This is all pre-social media, pre-mainstream media, television and stuff, just about. And everything. And, uh... About now. Has first opportunity so their thoughts and beliefs will mainly come from parents and even, uh, grandparents and their ancestors the door, and family and stuff. Women have to open the door first and the men pass the first. <laughs> and in the buses or theatres, really? uh, men t take seat first. And if uh, there's no seat, women have to stand up. Oh, I'd love to live in Japan. That's so interesting. Oh. Because they go back in America and but England no. now. <laughs> yes, Is it changing at all? Yes, quite changed. And uh, just now women... I'd say it's the opposite in the UK. Yeah. And uh, women have equal opportunity in everything. Uh, Judith, you were talking about your prejudice against Cockney accent a moment ago. Uh, is that still very strong in England, this prejudice of the so-called aristocracy against the Cockney? No, I don't think it's a very serious problem now, especially since the war. You know this idea that the English speak either with a Cockney accent or else with um, a very aristocratic accent? That isn't true anymore. Um, and we certainly don't despise people anymore if they speak with that. If you go into the House of Parliament now, you will often hear a North Country accent or a Welsh accent or even a Cockney accent. And we're proud of those kind of people because they are the people who, who got us through the last war and nobody would dare say anything against them. In fact, it's the arist aristocratic accent which is the other side of the fence and people laugh at that nowadays, I'm afraid. In fact, you may think that my accent is a little cultured, but I assure you back in England, I have not quite a Cockney accent, but still an accent. <laughs> At least you mean to say your schoolmistress would not totally approve of you? Oh, no, I should be corrected. Too I lot. hate to think what's going to happen when you go back after three months here. So do I. <laughs> You'll write me about that, won't yes, you? I certainly. wanted to have time to ask you what you thought individuals could do in terms of eradicating prejudice. But our time's almost up. Anybody got a quick answer? Well, I guess we should uh, carefully uh, examine the indiv individual first before passing any judgment on him. Mm. And if we ever pass a judgment, we should be just with it. That's a good note to end on. Thank you, mm. Anadi, wow, Enrico, Judith, and Raul. Oh. Next week, we're going to continue on the subject of prejudice with oh, four she's delegates covering from Africa, one, of the people. one white <laughs> and three colored. The delegates from the Union of South Africa, Gold Coast, Ethiopia, and Nigeria. I want to watch more of these. Interesting program. The so World We Want, that show is called. Very, very interesting. I'm so all intrigued they're doing now. by it all. They'll be a little older. It's amazing. All right, well, let us know your thoughts on that. Um, yeah. Interesting to read the comments on the last videos. We do read through the comments on this channel. So yes. leave a comment. What do you think? Do you think, um, yeah, just let us know. I think all four of them were very, very interesting to come from such different cultures. And so different. Even, I would argue that they're, they were even more far away from each other then because these days we have travel, we have vlogs, travel yeah. vlogs, we have um, before that, you know, shows on TV, even going back a little bit, brochures to go on vacation. Yeah. You see these other countries more in this day and age, but yeah. back then, surely in the 1950s, it must be interesting for someone them. from Indonesia wouldn't have a clue what it was like in the UK. Yeah, true. Unless they would have been... heard things, but they wouldn't yeah. have they had a first-hand experience. There wasn't, there wasn't so. tons of movies yet, no. really, like, anyway. Huh, Very interesting. interesting, okay. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you very soon again in another BCBX. Goodbye. Goodbye.